So go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, what's up? I Tech. My name is Austin Kendrick. I'm a Christian. And uh, yeah, let me just start off by saying uh, I'm just going to give you my best answers for questions. Um, if you disagree with me, you know, I love you still. And uh, <laughs> evolutionists, I think a lot of you guys are real intellectual people. And I guess I'll just share what uh, what the word says or what I, what I can with the, from the answers that uh, you guys, from the questions you guys asked me. So. So the first question is, um, can you be a Christian and still believe in the evolution theory? Um, okay, so when, you, when it comes to that, a Christian, um, by definition, is a follower of Christ. And uh, if you're following Jesus Christ, you follow the Word of God. And uh, there's certain things in evolution that do contradict um, what the Word says. So, I'll say no. Uh, there's a... <laughs> yeah, no. Um, has the way society evolved affected the seriousness of Christianity? Um, that's, a, that's a good question. Christianity, when you say that, you, there's, a, there's a thing called standard. Like, God's standard is written in his word and that can't be affected I guess in society the way people look at it the way people view it um, yeah it's it's been affected from from the outside perspective there's a lot of people who are offended um, by Christians and a lot of people who um, who may be intimidated um, because of misunderstanding and uh, that's that's a big norm in here in America to uh to I don't know if I'm answering the question right. <laughs> what's, what's the question? Has the way society evolved affected the seriousness of Christianity? Yeah, um because uh, we get a you know there's there's standards in the Bible that people break you know in like and use Jesus' name in front of it. You know like they uh some some people they enforce Christ, but then they, but then they still encourage like uh, sex before marriage or something, you know. So a lot of the, it's it's easy for people to view. We're doing an interview. Actually, no, but <laughs> yeah, well, we're doing an interview. Um, you can sit down. Yeah. So yeah, it's affected the way people view it. And yeah, that's the best answer I can get for that. And then, um, do you view the movement as, or actually, if you lived in Tennessee at the time, how would you respond to the Butler Act? The Butler Act, as in, um, if a, a teacher teaches a evolution in class, um, I understand where they're coming from because if you really believe in heaven, you know, heaven or hell, you would want people to, you know, go to heaven. So, you, I understand that it's a it's a a real it's it's like a need, you know, to to teach students, you know, uh, something that's not going to mislead them. Because if you really believe what the Bible says, then it's taken seriously that there's a life or death situation going on. So um, I guess some people being uh, led astray with, um, you know, evolution can lead people away from Jesus, which people, um, many, many Christians know and believe that it's more than just a, a religious figure or something to make them feel good about themselves. But I think that may have been influenced because they don't want people to, uh, to, to, uh, abandon their faith and uh, misunderstand understand it so but I as far as that teacher getting arrested and stuff I don't know about all that <laughs> you know um, so yeah, well, 
that's actually like the next question. So that's actually okay. <laughs> Um, do you think that the, the accusations against Scopes in the Scopes Murphy trial was fair? Um, uh, no. <laughs> I don't, well, in, in America, you got the freedom of speech, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just like, uh, you know, I have a, you know, praise God, I got the freedom to talk about Christ. And you got the freedom to tell me I don't know nothing, you know what I'm saying? And, <laughs> and, and force your opinion on me, you know? So, I mean, no, I don't, you know? So, yeah. So, stepping away from, like, more evolution versus um, creation, do you view, like, the movement, like, the fundamentalist movement as, un as unconstitutional? Oh, uh, as in, um... Uh, like the 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 fun like Christian fundamentals like uh I think it's very necessary um because as in um uh, like teaching uh the Christian fundamentals like uh because there's a lot of things that got away from the Bible especially uh like kind of forming America and uh just the teaching that um. That Jesus did a resurrect from the dead. That uh, um, the Bible is inerrant, and uh, what's the other one? Let's see. The question is, do I feel like it's unconstitutional? Unconstitutional. Hmm. What would be unconstitutional about it? Like just and unconstitutional in the way like they're setting limitations on what can and cannot be said. Like in, in in public schools. Oh, in public schools. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Unconstitutional. I don't know. I would say. It's. The way I view it is, if you could tell someone that that um, that the Bible is fake, you should be able to tell them that the Bible is real. I just, I'm trying to answer like that. Okay. And then there's just like two more questions. Um, in schools today, do you think it's important to be taught evolution and creation? And creation? Yeah. <laughs> is it important? No. <laughs> Uh, I don't, I don't see it as important to, um, to know, to, uh, to have to know that, but I, I do believe, and just from, from what I know, just from reading the Bible, I see maybe not necessarily evolution, but the scientific, uh, the scientific aspect of, um, you know, biology, is very uh, interesting. You know, the, the Bible says that we're fearfully and wonderfully made. As in, like, if you look at you, like, look at yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, you're amazing. You know what I'm saying? God made you that way. And, like, you have, like, cells and they, they, uh, <laughs> they divide and help you grow and they, it's just, it's, it's just such a, um, crazy design that I, it's interesting to know is it important yeah if you want to be a biologist <laughs> you know what I'm saying if you want to if you want to know that um, but uh, can we live without it probably I don't know uh, 